morning everyone this is pastor bonnie and we're going to be working on our acrylic painting sorry our watercolor painting so first we want to go ahead and wet the background of the paper and this is cold press paper it's nine eight by eight and i started with burgundy watercolor to get the background of the flower this is a loose water technique so we're not looking for any really tight really edges yet and then i'm just going to put a little bit of purple on top of it and then here you can see i'm adding more purple around the edges and we're going to add blue and green and yellow to the background and they're just so pretty the colors just all blend in together to make these really beautiful patterns in the background um, <clears throat> and like this painting is going to have gouache and it's going to have metallic it's going to have regular watercolor so it's just going to be a really beautiful effect when we get it done and i'm enjoying taking you along for the journey with me and then here i'm using the gouache and you can see it's a lot thicker it almost looks like acrylic paint but it is watercolor so we're using that for the center of the flower and i'm just making little yellow dots in the center and then here we're going to try a little bit of the purple gouache just to add some more we're going to start to outline the flower petals and it's just really you can see it's fun because you can see the burgundy underneath and now we're starting to get more definition to the flowers it's so beautiful isn't it you guys and just relaxing and fun and i hope you can enjoy going along for the journey with me and then here we're adding a little burgundy between the petals and every little bit that you add just adds more and more to the painting and to be honest this painting took me all afternoon so i let it dry and then now i'm gonna spray it with some water to continue working on it and then the key is you let it dry between each of the steps <clears throat> so you can see in this one it's pretty wet and then now i added some blue sprinkles to the background you just um and then we're going to try a little bit of white ink to see if that will leave the you know the white spatters on the background and that's why i sprayed it with the white with the water um and um, then I also, this is the gouache again, and so I'm going to be using this for making some pretty leaves. Now I did let it dry before I added the leaves, so you can see the flower's not wet anymore. And then I just took my paint and watered it down. I take two brushes and tap them on each other, and I just spattered the white paint all across. And then here I'm going to spatter blues and greens and that's one of my very favorite techniques i love putting the spatters and you can see how because the paint was wet from when i sprayed it they just the little spatters just spread around and that's what i wanted and then here because the flower is wet when i tap it with the blue you can see how it <coughs> excuse me spreads a little bit around the center it started to look a little bit muddy so i kind of waited and let it dry again before i started the next step um, and here we're starting to work on the leaves uh, a little bit well actually no i did a little more dark purple on the petals i was trying to go for the veining in the flower so i used a fine tip brush and then you can see it's just the flowers starting to take on a little more shape and it just makes it it fills in a little bit and then i took little tiny yellow gouache and made little dots on the petals just like you would see in the flowers and here i decided to try some ink alcohol ink and so i just used it around the edges of the petals it's really pretty because it bleeds into the paint and then here we're just using the gouache like i showed you before that sort of olive green color we're making really pretty simple leaves coming out of the flowers <clears throat> sorry guys i have allergies and then here we're working on the other side with it and then these are just simple little oval shaped leaves um, 
and then work it going back and working on some more of the veining and the flowers. So it's really getting pretty as you can see. And then here I'm going back to the gouache again and, and um, just adding some more details with it. <coughs> it's pretty, isn't it, you guys? Those pretty little yellow. Oh, it's actually, I took a little brown to minimize the yellow center a little bit. And then just going back and filling in with some blue around the petals. You can see it makes like a shadow behind them. So we're going to add some green. You can pretty much add any color that you want. I just wanted to, to make the petals a little more defined. And then it's just as simple. You just wet the area that you're going to work with and then just fill it in with the paint, the color that you want pretty isn't it see all the beautiful colors in the background just loving it it's relaxing and peaceful and I hope you guys will enjoy it you can stop and start anytime to work on it um, and now this is a really cool technique so what I did is outline the leaves first <coughs> and you can see the coloring underneath um, it's actually kind of a cool technique. It's usually I would draw the leaves and fill them in, but I outlined them first. And then, then I'm starting to use some of the metallic paints to fill in those leaves. It's just a really, I really like that technique. It's something new I tried with this one. Um, and so you like, here we are, we're using the metallic watercolor paint. It just really sparkles when it catches the light. So I'm just going back and, and doing the metallic. And then I used a little darker color to put the veining in <coughs> on the leaves. And these leaves, I, I did the opposite where I filled them in first instead of leaving them blank like I did the other ones. It's beautiful, isn't it, you guys? It's just really fun having all the different kinds of paint together. And then here, I'm going to start adding some gold, the gold um, metallic paint. And I absolutely love that. It's just, I did just a little bit with it. Um, and it was, it's just enough to really bring a little pop of gold onto the paper. And you'll be able to see it here in a minute. I'm still working on the leaves with some of the other metallics. I did blues and greens and... And um, it's, see, you can just see how the light just catches the metallics. Just pretty, isn't it, you guys? Here's, a, here's where I started putting in the veining on the leaves. Then it just kind of bleeds in a little bit, which is what I want. It's just a really subtle, very subtle and pretty. But like I said, this took this took me probably three or four hours because I had to keep letting it dry between each of the layers. So you can see how every little bit just adds. Now we're gonna get some more of the metallic. And here's the gold I was telling you about. And I just, like I said, I just think that gold is just so pretty. Just really shines on the paper. So you don't want too much of it. It's just an accent. And then we're going back to the gouache again because we're going to work a little more with it. It's a little thicker. And um, so we're just going to go back. And then I did use the silver metallic to bring out the flowers. So we're just kind of working back and forth and filling in the details. And then... We're going to, now I'm just going to spatter it again with all the different pretty colors. Isn't it pretty, you guys? See how the sun just catches it? And I've so enjoyed spending this time with you guys. I decided it's, it's a lot less time consuming just to do these pictures and voiceover. And then, um, but I, I pray for each and every one of you. I hope you find this relaxing and enjoyable. And, and it's just been so much fun spending this time with you. So you have a wonderful day. And thank you for stopping by and taking a peek. And God bless.